Hi, welcome back. Another important session. Real-time important EDI learning. What is the advantage of message type and message variant in IDOC? Okay. So, let's see this. So, we will maintain message type and message variant in W20. And the uses is depends on how you would like to use your IDOC. Same IDOC in multiple ways. Okay. Let's try to understand this. Okay. Today. On the system, this is useful. Certain times they might ask in interviews. Generally, it's not the question for functional consultants. Okay, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. This is like you know, current. This is one of the valuable assets for you for your career. Currently, I'm holding 750 uh, plus videos. Okay, future I'm going to plan to do thousand videos. Depends on your encouragement. If you really like this video, please like it and subscribe my channel. And this is my Udemy forum serious forum currently i'm holding around uh, 5800 students if you look at here all these are the different courses 112 hours with 420 lectures. this is one of my prime course and again this is one of my top course with uh, 2000 plus students and you can able to see these are the two courses i would like to recommend if you really looking for your future in real time this is for irrespective of any consultant sd or mmfir if you are a functional consultant you can try idocs you must have this knowledge i have explained five scenarios and this is for getting master to write a functional specification with RISEF. And the, without these two courses, never ever try for your job trials. If you are successful in job trials also, it is very difficult to handle these two parameters of your real time. Okay. You can try these two courses. Apart from that, I have different courses at my end. You can try. I'm just providing these links in the description video and you can give a try. Okay. Now let's uh, get into the topic. Okay. So let's go to SAP. Let me open W20. Okay. So it's expired. Let me reopen again. Now you can able to see the SAP screen. Let's go to the W20. Okay, this is for basically to maintain partner profiles. Uh, so I have explained everything in my Udemy course. If you really wanted to have that seriousness, you can able to give it a try. Okay, so currently in this system, I have created, uh, what do you call, this side off okay for example if i would like to add one more with the same port okay let's take this and uh, this is the basic type and press enter okay? and go to the message control okay Okay, let's go here, go to new entries. Just, I'm just uh, wanted to explain the difference. So that's why I'm just uh, opening. Okay, assume this, this is the same output type. Save this, okay. So if you go back, you can see this. You have an invoice and invoice. I assume that, you know, it is also with the uh, same logical system and uh, the same IDOC type, same message type I'm using. This is for invoice generation. If you look at here, message variant and the message function, okay? Let me try to explain you because this is a wrapper job. Theoretically, I can able to show you, but not practically, okay? Let's take, if you would like to generate certain functionality, for example, this has really happened in uh, my couple of projects. So this is message type. Okay, and another one is message, uh, uh, message type, and this one is message variant. Okay, so I'm just a message function also there. Let me try to these two are the optional parameters. Okay, suppose invoice. Okay, is my message type, and for one uh, 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 company, and I have one more company like. Uh, uh, like, you know, I have A, B, C or three companies are there for three companies. Uh, so like, you know, from SAP side, I need to generate outbound IDOC. It can be for inbound or outbound. Let me explain you with this example. If it is invoice, then see message variant, how it works. For example, uh, I have a company called, okay, Carberry. Okay. So I need to generate, I, I need to have a EDA mapping. I, I, Carberry has a different functionalities and uh, you have something called uh, uh, like, um, uh, so 
like uh, diary products limited one more company is there i have one more company like uni lever okay you have a three companies so i am using the same invoice to send pass the information by using idoc like like how it happens you have a idoc if it is supposed to generate okay you have a w20 and other settings from sap side okay and it will generate output by using output determination okay your container like you know your message type will have a certain information okay information like uh, what i would say let me explain you this one simple example like invoice invoice number okay and partner details and pricing details and like uh, you have a dates okay you have a something or inco terms you have all these things like you know this is one information assume that you know this is required for what i would say this company so just assume that this is in standard okay everybody okay so but i have written some custom idoc extension i have already explained in my video like you know so this requirement is for carberry okay the similar way let's copy this okay this is for the requirement is bit different apart from that so like uh, i say that you know diary products limited this is idoc need to be generated limited okay certain times so i have written a lot of code like you know advance okay uh, like you know remaining balance okay or else tax on advance so really i worked on this my current project okay advance tax percentage okay so like uh, you will have a certain segments it is got extension done so this is for only diary products carbury i don't want it okay for carbury is also i am using the same message type okay same message type invoice this is for uh, you can say carbury and this is the same message type i am using okay uh so with the same color means same message type i'm using and this also i'm using same message okay certain times i would like to differentiate the data which i want to send this data even if i'm using the same message type i i would like to restrict this is for only carberry so this is i would like to restrict to only for diary products okay how would i control that is called message variant okay i and v i created okay so this is like you know zdr okay or else this is z carberry so this in uh, custom code or message type information if i would like to send i will connect in my code with zcr so but you know based on zcr it will the, the information which is relevant relevant for carberry it will send so if i do it for zdr okay okay zdr diary products okay zdp you can say otherwise you think that uh, credit memo and debit memo okay this is uh, like you know jet cb okay you can able able to differentiate like you know what kind of information i supposed to send in message type I, i'm holding i'm just giving an example like you know this is information this is a uh, additional information so so whatever the information i supposed to send i send, i i need to separately send for carberry and this one okay this is one thing this is one thing and i would like to tell you i would like to tell you one more example okay you have a system called you have a system called this is using one third party system this is called edcom okay this is usually called gentran okay uh, insomia okay the functionality insopia something is there okay i didn't remember in my projects used okay such a case okay so system wise also if i would like to differentiate the information such a case this is different eda system okay okay eda systems this is all these are the different eda systems such a case also i am using message variant or message function i would like to send the information this is one example okay case one is like uh, this is more useful for technical okay based on the uh, message type type information 
okay information second case 2 based on the based on the systems like bracket edi what you have integrated okay okay and i let me explain you third third one third one is case 3 okay so you would like to you you'd like to send you'd like to receive from different systems like one is like you know crm okay crm scm supply chain management or else any other uh, third party systems also okay you can able to you can able to actually you know differentiate these are the different examples based on the information based on the different system based on different EDA systems certain times you have to differentiate like you know the same information but different systems also it will be useful this is the basic advantage of message variant so generally if you are sending the same information like you know at the, at the time of go live or future enhancement projects Okay, you need not use this message variant. Certain times, what is the advantage with this? For example, this diary products is capturing the information related to advance payment and all those things, tax and all the stuff. You would like to capture in future for any other vendor, okay, any other customer you would like to send the same information, you can able to extend it simply. Need not rewrite the code again and again, okay? So this is for, again, case for reuse ability all these are the basic advantages this is how you have to learn everything in details certain times it will be useful this is the place where whatever the codes i have defined you can able to assign here that is the basic advantage okay so this is in w20 i think you are uh, you love to learn sap then you should be more confident and you have to handle the things well and if you look at here this is one of my top course i'm telling you don't worry about this 3.9 rating some Fools will be there. I don't get, worry about that. I am looking for the actual student who would like to learn perfectly. Okay, you can try this course and getting master to write a functional specification without these two courses. Never ever try to get into the real time. This is the so why why you wanted to be painful yourself in real time? Okay, learn everything, and if you are showing an experience and behave like you know experienced consultant and work like a experienced consultant. Okay, I don't encourage to put the experience, but still. It's up to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining the session. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Jai Bharat. All the best.